Welcome back. So today in this video, before we proceed with the real action, we will have a look about the technology that we are going to use within this course. They are going to be very rich and important. Let's see. Basically, we are in the Microsoft environment, the cloud is going to be Azure, and the development environment and the machine going to be Visual Studio. You can follow up with Visual Studio code if you want, but I prefer Visual Studio either on Mac or on, on Windows. The full IDE is much more productive. Right now, what we are going to use in Visual Studio, basically our programming language is going to be C Sharp, of course, and ASP.NET Core for the back end, Blazor WebAssembly for the front end, Entity Framework Core for that data access with SQL Server, and in general, the SDK is going to be .NET Core 3.1. Because if you reference this uh, course in the future, uh, very soon you will get the .NET 5. Right now, we are on .NET Core 3.0, but this one is 3.1. Uh, but this is a long-term support, so even in the future, you can go with .NET Core 3.1 or even .NET 5 is the same. Right now, if we uh, let's talk about the cloud part, what the services we are going to use from Azure. Basically, of course, we will use the app service, which will host and run our web API and our front-end project on Azure. The second service we are going to use is the awesome one, which is Azure Functions. Uh, Azure Functions will allow us to run jobs in background or long-running tasks based on a specific trigger, or maybe it could be run manually, but we will uh, adjust them to run after a specific trigger happens. Uh, basically, we will use them to crop and uh, create thumbnails from the images that's going to be uploaded for the gallery of the events. For example, the organizer uploads a set of pictures for the gallery, in a full HD or high resolution, Azure Functions directly will be run in the background and create thumbnail or small pictures of those and store them in the storage. Another use for Azure Functions, we will create one to send emails for uh, the users in the system so to notify them about a new um, uh, events has been added to the system so if they are interested in and those e emails will be sent for each user based on what they, will, uh, what they are interested in. We will track this via the likes and comments or attendance of uh, the users for specific events. The data store is going to be SQL. We will use Azure SQL databases to store the data. Also, we will use uh, the Azure Redis cache uh, to cache some data. Basically, in this uh, solution, they are going to be the IDs of the SignalR connections so we can send notifications and messages from the server to the front end for a specific users or a set of group of users. Regarding the identity, of course, as we have said in the first video, we are going to use Azure Active Directory, B2C business to, uh, to consumers or customers. It will be used as the identity service for the solution. It's a very, very powerful identity service. And uh, this one you can, it allows us to uh, make a lot of things with it, very secure and flexible. You'll see how we can uh, implement it. Then we will use the storage. Basically, we will use the service blob storage to store all the attachment and the images for the events or the unstructured data for the system. And we will use the Azure SignalR service so we can send messages and notifications in real time to the customers or to the users of the system uh, to notify them about anything happening in the right now in the system. Uh, if we got time or if we are on the schedule, of course, we will talk about other things like uh, the payment gateway so the users can um, buy a tickets, they can pay with it, and we will have a look about how we can create an image so the tickets are going to be created and printed from within the system. We will try our best to uh, cover as much as we can, but for the time being, those are all the services that you are going to learn and use within this course. So, in the next video, we will start to um, initialize our development environment with all the tools required. So, thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video.